And welcome back to Mission Reload Gaming. I am Jack, and this is Star Maid. And we are sitting here in front of a small little asteroid home made by Splat the Cat that he has sent me to look at. Let's take a look. It looks pretty at this moment in direction and angle. Love the coloring. I like the landing bays. It is looking... Ooh, ooh, what's this? Another bigger landing bay for a bigger ship. Nice. Yeah, ooh, a container. Interesting. So I wonder if it actually works. I remember him working on that recently to make sure that the container transfer worked. Little communications tower. Hey, we've been using that design a lot that he came up with. Apparently there is gravity? Ugh. I'm liking the outside. I'm loving the, the internal garden right here this is beautiful it's simply beautiful it reminds me a lot of like the expanse on um i can't remember what what asteroid everything uh crashed through the dome that they had to fight over io no it wasn't io was it io i think it was io all right let us uh figure out how to land here and uh, head out and go inside check out the station so it's been a little bit since I uh, have played Star Maid, and mainly because nothing new has been coming out, and I've been working on some other projects that I'm very ha oh huh. oh oh I love that door. That is a fantastic door. Wow, how did he do that? I am so impressed. Okay, I will have to figure out how he does his doors. I love that. <laughs> Maybe I'm easily amused. We'll see. Now we wander in here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Ah, look at this. How did... How did you do that? I didn't know it worked that way. I love it. This is pretty. What do these buttons do? Oh! Oh! Look at that! Look at that! And even a freaking elevator down to here. Ah, oh, there's another one on that side. I guess this is the water drippage containment thing that runs the whole deal. Or is that just supposed to be the... No, I think that's just supposed to be the computer bit. Yeah, we put the computers right under the uh, under the arboretum. It's cool, it's fine. You know, gravity doesn't work, whatever, you know. But it does work. <gasps> How does he do that? That looks good. Medic... I never figured out how to make that stuff look nice. Oh, look at this. Fit for a Vulcan. No, this is too good for Vulcan. Oh, look. I like the colors. I love the attention to detail. The lit ceilings all the way around. Very medical looking teal green sea foam. The beds look better than anything I've ever made. See, right here, this is what I expect it to look in RimWorld, too. This is what I like to look, you know, the beds are the right color and shape and everything, too. I guess this is the surgical one. Hmm. Of course, here we are. We get to enjoy the, the fantastical door. The construction area. Oh, oh, okay. So there's where all the parts that run the, all of the cookers. Oh, I love the grating. You can see it. It make, makes the room look bigger, too. That is fantastic. What does this say? Asteroid Home by Splat the Cat. Original Home by Jaunty Friak. Back in December 2015. So it's a renovation. <gasps> there we go. Right there. Showers and toilets. Let's go check out the restroom. Wait, how do you get it? Oh, there we are. Okay, hitting the... Locked for, you know, keeping your toilet paper safe these days. Medical unit, just in case you cut yourself shaving. We need to figure out a way to make mirrors. We need to figure out a way to make that look like a mirror. Oh, 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 I see. It's it's glass. We may need to tint that glass a little more, though. I, that's just a personal thing. Because looking right here, you can't, hardly, you can't even tell there's glass there. Hmm. That's something to think about. Maybe cameras. <laughs> just put cameras in the bathroom. <gasps> Shower stalls. Woo! 
You know, this is this is a level of detail we have not had in Star Maiden in a while. At least I have not. Ooh, I love the t oh look at the tiling. Look at that tiling. I feel like real tile. It's real real asteroid tile. From real you know, harvested from real asteroids. Let's see what a toilet looks like. Ha ha! Bump. Now we can have toilet and shower thoughts from Jack B. Flippin and Mog Spawn Rambles. That's a good use of space. I like that. It's a right nice size. And it's even got a vent. It's well lit. I just imagine piping in some highly annoying music that just sits there and plays. Like awesome door again. Oh, that's cool. Still left some of the rough asteroid here for just beauty. Kind of give you that cave feel. We mined this out. We didn't have enough time to finish it. All right, so we got med bay, and we have toilets and whatnot. Where is the living space? Am I, unless I'm just, ah, I was behind me. Crew apartment two, which means there's a crew apartment one somewhere. I'm digging it. I'm digging the tattooing flavor here. <gasps> a mini kitchen. Ah, stove and uh, I'm assuming that's supposed to be the dishwasher. That's, a, that's how I want my dishwasher to look like. I want all the settings. Looks like it throws it out the side of the asteroid and it flies by the sun, incinerates any food on it, brings it back and hits it with some water, some steam. And I can cook over here. Oh, that's the sink. Never mind. That's the sink. I'm just sitting there thinking, hey, look, an ion thruster for my cooking. Which wouldn't work now that I think about it. T, Earl Grey, hot. Oh, it's an operative. God damn it. And the, ooh, it's a big bed. Whee, you can jump on the bed. <laughs> Reliving as a 12 year old or six year old. Bookshelf, I'm assuming. I'm gonna put like a, a lamp or a light or a piece of flowers up there, maybe. I could play a good game of sabak here. Write my memoirs, you know. Jack be flipping memoirs. Mug was mean to me. Bloop. Uh, oh, it left me. All right, well, let's get the return button again. Watch that come down. So smooth. I like the double decker pit. It makes it feel thicker. Or I guess it is technically thicker. Let's wander through the Arboretum a little and enjoy the view. So, I really like this. So it has the ability to come down here and this is the dock for the bigger ones. There's my new space, I'm actually, I've been locked out. No! Good thing I was holding my breath. But yeah, the new ship, I've uh, been doing a couple of modifications onto it. I like the outside, the inside's atrocious. And so if, 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 anyone knows who had, if anyone knows how to make a good fighter or has a good set of like specifications, sizing of um, you know weapon systems and whatnot, please hit me up in the comments because I'm trying to make that thing deadly. And it's just, I mean, it is deadly, but yeah, no, nothing like it could be. I love those doors. And all right, that's ingenious. It looks like stairs, which makes me feel like I'm walking upstairs, but it's not. So it actually works, and I don't have to jump. That's just freaking awesome. Looks like I may need to add some more railing to that one, but that's, that's you know, neither here nor there. And the view is gorgeous. I wonder, could you make like a, 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 little, drone, a little drone that like flies around in a circle inside there? Just like, and make it, it could stop and like, do a light pulse or something like it's like it's scanning the the trees or making sure everything's watered correctly. So and you know, but it had to be that not that one where it just like goes click, click, click. It's got to like fly the next one, stop and do some stuff. Fly the next one, stop and do some stuff. Intermittent. I don't know. That might be too much work. I have no idea how to do logic. Splat's like excellent with logic. <laughs> Like I said, he's awesome with logic. Um, 
I, I'm I, I'm willing to fly anything he builds. So, like the hyena. Of course, we've we've had the hyenas before, and we're gonna have hyenas again. Speaking of which, we actually have a server where we're, we're co-working on. He is doing most of the assets, um, if not all of the assets at the moment. We'll be hosting it through the Survivor's Enclave network, and it's going to be a Battlestar Galactica style themed server. So, I will hit you up with a brand new video when that is out. Until then, you guys fly reckless.